Do we want to drop this thing off this bridge? Would that be fun? Welcome to the Gear Up Show, where we talk about uh, EDC and outdoor gear from sort of a gear maker's perspective. Uh, I'm Mike. And I'm Aaron. And today we're going to be going over uh, a review of the Pelican Go case. You may be familiar with a lot of Pelican's products. They make iPhone cases, iPhone cases, carry cases, cases for all kinds of equipment. Care, yeah, cameras, firearms, all kinds of tactical gear. And this is their G40 sort of larger version. It's, it's definitely got a more sort of consumer feel to it than most of their stuff, which yeah. seems to be pretty tactical. But you can always tell it's a consumer product because it's got lime green and gray on it. But Aaron, do you want to? Uh, what's what's your? Yeah, let's just of, get into it. All right. What's your uh, first impression on that? It's definitely a quality product. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like it's gonna last forever. There's also a new car smell once you open it up, which is pretty nice. Give it a. We want to go over it. some of the. Well, yeah. I've smelt it yeah. plenty of times, so oh, I know. Oh yeah, it's good. No, it's. <laughs> I concur. I keep wanting to call this an airlock, but it's not. It's a breather. Is right. that right? That's right. But uh, so it's waterproof. I guess what I'm getting at. Yeah. What kind of waterproof is it? Uh, IP67. So it's water and dust proof, um, up to like a meter for 30 minutes, I think. Yeah. That's what it's rated to. I'm sure it can last a lot longer than that and take take more yeah. abuse. Yeah, Aaron was talking. There's a little air valve here for when you're closing it, just to relieve the pressure, and then you yeah. lock it up. So this is this to me is kind of a nice feature that it's just one nice sturdy latch that takes care of it. Yeah. It is too. It's not a. It's not something you're going to carry every day unless you like really rugged clutches. But yeah, it's for travel. Camping, it, it, yeah, I think it does. I, well, we'll, t we'll test it out. We're gonna do. I think that you can carry it every day though, and it's kind of made more to carry every day than the. They have a variation of this called the Ruck right. that has more like space for like EDC products, but yeah. this has the um, the place for your debit cards and credit cards and all that. Right. So like I don't, I'm not sure why they would include that. I think in their minds at least, yeah, you're gonna be carrying this with day. you in the city. Well, it's up to it's up to to each person to decide how they want to carry it. I mean, you can use their their card slots, or you can just put your keep your wallet in there if you're in a condition where it, it may get wet or, yeah. or stolen or whatever. It's, it's a little bit big. Um, they do have a smaller version, which is the G10, mm -hmm. and I think what they did is they designed the G10 first, um, and then everybody's phone got much bigger, so they had yeah. To, yeah. they did this, and I'm sort of still on the whatever this is, iPhone 7 or something. Mm -hmm. But but you got yeah. actually this, and is, I actually have a Pelican case. They called this a tactical case. Yeah. Sold. Yeah. They got me. <laughs> so Aaron's got a Pelican case that fits in his Pelican carry case. Yeah. And that thing is protected. Yeah. These are all soft touch surfaces. There's a layer of like, um, it, it feels like it's like just like a really nice foam or like a expanded plastic foam. Yeah. Before we destroy it, just a couple more things. One more use case is you can see it has these holes in it. You can have your phone charger. Okay. Sort of, sort of poking through. And I actually don't have one with me, but they make these flat, long flat solar panel, like sort of emergency things. Yeah. And those, I, the one I have at least, would fit in here. Right. So if you're on like a camping trip or a rafting trip, this is your all-in-one phone technology battery yeah. charging station, I guess. Bit like, vaults fit here. perfectly. Bit vaults. Yeah, I, had, I, I stuck a bit vault in there, of course. Look at that, it fits beautifully. Anything else before we destroy this? Nope. Try to destroy it. Should we go beat this thing up? Let's go beat this thing up. All right. Do y'all want to do water test first? Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. All right. So let's walk a lot farther. Just the water test. It's in the water. It definitely floats. I got you, buddy. Do we want to drop this thing off this bridge? Would that be fun? Uh, beat down test. This is the beat down test. Dream throw test. It's a okay. It's not wet inside. It's good. And it's not wet inside. Man. This is the most Greenville video of all time. You got a dog park, you got cyclists. Maybe we should go get some IPAs after this. I don't know. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> this is the office space. Stop. <laughs> all right, stop. No, no, you like really hurt it. No, it's okay. Here we go. All right, okay, we're good. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and drop it off the top. You guys go and reset the shot, okay? This is the uh, the big drop test. Hey, should I go over that way? No. Yeah. Oh, I think we survived. <laughs> All right, let's see how we did. Looks good. I'm gonna do some filming from my perspective, some behind the scenes shit. Uh, so you can see the dumb things I had to go through to get that, you know, 10 seconds of shot. Works perfectly. Oh, cool. iPhone case. Carpe diem. Indeed. Right. See this? This might go through. Oh, Jesus. Right. Whatever audio you're getting is trash. Drop off the um, works great. A little banged up, a couple of scratches, but it survived. Possibly terminal velocity. Was it as good for you guys as it was for me? It was thrilling. Was it fine for you? <laughs> it was alright. Yeah. Alright, let's run it over with a car. Yeah, let's do it. No, I'm not gonna be part of it. Why? Because I'm, I'm Well, we're gonna craft axe throw it if we don't do that. Alright. At all least right. it might survive getting run over by a car. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Keep going. You got another one. Another wheel to do? Oh. <laughs> Alright, no. I'm sorry, I've ruined that audio. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's great. Let's see. Alright. It, it appears to me that it still works fine. Turns out you can run over with a car. Alright, go park your thing. Alright guys, so we have beat the crap out of this thing. I'm satisfied. It stood all the tests. Yep, I agree. Looks great. A little scratch. A little scratch. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, yep. and we'll see you next week. Oh. <laughs> all right, no. I'm sorry, I've ruined that audio.